Evening folks, Brian here, Geomagnetic Earthwatch on Wednesday, July 5, 2023 on our planet. Hope you're all well. So, yet another heat anomaly at one of British Columbia's, my province, volcanic field. Eastern British Columbia, Wells Gray Clearwater Volcanic Field. We have a couple of heat anomalies. So, let's punch in the coordinates and let's see where this takes us. So this area is called the uh, Wells Gray and Clearwater Volcanic Complex. And we have two heat anomalies. They're a couple of yards apart from each other. Let's take a look. <clears throat> right on top here. Now I checked the weather. There's no weather. There's no lightning strikes. There's no vegetation. There's nothing that can burn here. And the Wells Gray Clearwater Volcanic Field is an extensive area of volcanoes and cinder cones. So again, we're right on the top here. We have some heat being uh, picked up. So while we're here, let's continue a tour. <clears throat> Many people do not realize just how extensive the volcanic areas in my province of British Columbia really are. So here's our list of just a few of the volcanic areas. So our heat anomaly is right in here. most recent volcanic activity in this region was only 400 years ago, which was during the last grand solar minimum called the Maunder Minimum. And again, Many of these areas are actual volcanoes. <clears throat> and 
and again our heat here it is right here right on top of this rock <clears throat> so let's go over just only this year so far for British Columbia as soon as I get myself reoriented here So far since the beginning of this year, we had a series of five 4.9 earthquakes off the coast of Vancouver Island starting at a known mud volcano just north of Tofino in this region here, and those earthquakes migrated on land. Again, that was five 4.9 earthquakes. Then... We have some heat building up on Mount Cayley Volcanic Complex next to Garibaldi Volcanic Complex. <clears throat> we had a series of very shallow earthquakes, about five earthquakes as shallow as one kilometer. Depth, 27 kilometers south of Copper Mountain, Princeton, British Columbia series of shallow earthquakes in this region here, Princeton, British Columbia. My back door, this highway here, on a very clear day, no weather, no lightning, temperatures low 20s, no human activity in the area, we had a fire flare up. That's one area I personally went and attended to and looked at. Earlier on this week, Kelowna, Knox Mountain, known, well, <clears throat> it's not known to many, a volcanic complex, we had a fire, and then uh, Wells Gray Provincial Park, which is a volcanic area, has uh, had quite a bit of seismic activity in this region. And again, our heat anomaly is in this region here. Now, these are just areas off the top of my head this year thus far. Combination of seismic activity indicating the movement of magma, heat anomalies, and some resulting in fires. There you go, folks. That's it for now. Till the next one.